If you need any DIY paint, head on over to thepaintingphotographer.com and get your paint or your air dry clay and enjoy this video. We're gonna make some Valentine ornaments with IOD air dry clay, wood blanks. You need parchment paper. You need some air dry clay. This is IOD air dry clay. Get a big glob of it out. It's like playing with Play-Doh. Squish it in a ball. Flatten it out to be a pancake. Now here we go. Take your IOD brayer and flatten it. You're gonna roll it thin. Okay, it's really thin. It doesn't stick. Now we're gonna use the Bohemian stamp. Put that on there and roll it. You're gonna get the impression in the, the clay. Pull it back up off, being careful not to have it stick to the stamp. I'm gonna use this one. Roll it, embossing it into the clay. An embossed piece of clay. Put this right back into your package and seal it up in a Ziploc bag. You don't want this clay to dry out. Wood blanks. Wood glue. Type on wood glue. Let that dry. We're gonna add some funness to this. This is the lock and key mold. It's a favorite. Go ahead and take some air dry clay. And we're gonna use this one. Push it in the mold. And then drag your thumb across it using the micro rim as a guide. and pull it back. It pops right out. Now we're gonna glue this on. Paint them using DIY paint. This is petticoat paint. The air dry clay has dried. It has some cracking in it. That's okay. I like the cracking.
Now's the fun part. You're gonna take the DIY paint, and when you have not much left in your container, you scoop it out into a dish. And then you add water. Lots of water. You want it watery, dripping off your brush. Okay, then you take your ornament, look at all that detail. It shows, but not as great. Take your continuous spray water bottle and spray it. Take your watery paint and touch on it. and spray. And then you're gonna dump the water off. DIY paint is highly pigmented, so it can be watered down and still get a lot of color out of it. After you have it where you want it, lay it flat and let it dry. Weathered wood for the red ones. This one was almost gone. So I just spray the water right in it, loosening up all that pigment on the bottom so it's nice and runny. Spray the heart. Let the weathered wood seep right into those cracks. There's a couple ways you can finish your hearts. You can use the DIY Big Top and just put a clear coat on them. It really looks nice on the red ones. It brings out the red and keeps that dark inside those creases. Isn't that pretty? Here's a before and an after. You can also add DIY white wax to them after you're big, big topped or before, your choice. I just have a small little artist brush here. Put some white wax on your brush and go right over the top. Since you put the big top on, it's gonna act as a barrier so it doesn't absorb into the pink paint as quickly. Then take a lint-free rag and wipe off the excess, leaving the white wax stuck in the crevices. It gives your ornament a nice soft look. One with white wax and one without. We're gonna do the key one also so they match.
here's the red without white wax and here it is with white wax so just a nice soft look or a good red valentine look to finish up the back of them i use diy to stark and decrepit darker and decrepit is like a stain without the vocs and the smell and the mess i just put a little on my brush i spray my wood down with water which makes it a little bit more um, fluid and will flow right across that wood grain. It's beautiful. It has no orange or red look to it. It's just got that nice brown stained look. It also has a built-in top coat. So once you put it on, that's it. No other application. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you'll make your own Valentine hearts. And if you need any products, please go to thepaintingphotographer.com and order up your molds for your paint. Thank you. And again, happy painting.